Hello Warriors, how's going? This is Kesson. Welcome back to Samurai Warriors 5. Right, let's continue our story with Akechimitsu the Spad. We have seen what happened to Shikanosuke and how he escaped from the Mori and also Mitsuhide managed to conquer Tamba. This will be a very big step stone for Mitsuhide's Spad indeed, since now he became the daimyo of Tamba province and he's actually acting more cold and he's actually very, he's acting very cold and yeah very cold alongside his partner Nobunaga so let's uh, begin the, the new chapter the new story bow of Shigisan castle in a shocking move Matsunaga said has risen up uh, against Nobunaga attack Shigisan castle and quash his rebellion okay let's do it let's go ahead and do this森に久秀の討伐を命じた。お前の中心のおかげで久秀を打つ支度はすでに整えてある。他の勢力と結ぶ前に沈めなくては。すぐに出陣しよう。いや、本当に忙しそうだな。三井で。信長様とも対等に渡り合って。昔とは大違いだ
one of the worst mode I ever seen in a Musou game. It's just as bad as ambition mode in Dynasty Wars, from Dynasty Wars 8, 8. It's awful. I do hate that kind of mode. You guys know my opinion about, about those uh, kind of modes now, that I prefer Extreme Legends. But I prefer something like Extreme Mode, you know. That, that to me, is it, it, a proper a proper alternative mode. Anything like Destiny Mode, uh, you know, that will be cool. Like, like really, some of the fire there was Chronicles Mode, which is, that was absolutely trash. I, it was terrible, Chronicles mode. It was way too easy. I want some I want some good challenging mode, honestly. But there, there really isn't, isn't anything like that anymore. They're not, they're not gonna make anything. They won't make anything, so... I, I kinda give up uh, on that, really. I, I don't know what to do, really, about it. What to think? They just refuse to make anything proper, you know. So, like an extreme mode like Dynasty Wars 4 has never been seen for a while. Same for Destiny mode. Destiny mode has so much potential, yet they they, they won't make it really. Why they don't make Destiny mode is beyond me, or something similar to it. Where you can just, like, you know, uh, rise the rank uh, slowly. Uh, s starting with uh, with very few moves. And slowly rising the rank, uh, upgrading your character, upgrading your moves. That was uh, something very, very, very unique. That it's still... It makes the Nasty Wars 5 uh, uh, something that... Some, like, a very unique game, really. Dynasty Wars Series 5 is very unique thanks to Destiny mode. It's probably the reason why I want to play Dynasty Wars 5, honestly, because uh, because of Destiny mode, really. Destiny mode alone, it's worth. So yeah. But really, I know there is rep re replayability in the game. There is mid the spot, and then I'm pretty sure there is also a Nightmare difficulty. There is also Citadel mode, but it's not entertaining, you know. There is a very few replayability in Samurai Warriors 5, but it, it's not a, that they're entertaining for me, to be honest. Because once you upgrade your character to the max, blah, 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 and everything, you just become broken. You, you break everything in the game, and you become way too OP. So, yeah. Now, just don't mind about the fact that I'm using the DLC weapon of Mitsuki. Like, even without a DLC weapon, I can still break the, break the game easily. So, it's not about the, the DLC weapon at all, honestly. Like, it's definitely not about that. Like, really, man. I just don't want the experience of a Musou game to be boring, you know, because Musou games are, are considered boring by many, and we can, we cannot deny that they are probably it's probably considered one of the most boring franchise uh, in video game history. Uh, the Musou, like everybody said, Musou is boring. Musou, what is a Musou game? Uh, this game looks boring. This game is too repetitive. Well. There is a chance to make the game entertaining and less repetitive by increasing the difficulty, uh, adding better modes. You know, there, uh, there is many ways to make a Musou game more entertaining and less repetitive. Just do it like the old, the old games, really. The old games added. They added. They added the old games, but. Then don't go back uh, from that part anymore. Unfortunately, the whole part from the old Musou games is completely gone. They just want there to, you know, to try to try the whole style again. Now they all stick with the old style. I don't see why. They should probably uh, try, give it another go. 
I know the I know the, the e making easier muscle games for them it's less time consuming probably but it will give the the replayability at least uh, the that it used to have. There used to be so much replayability. Just 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 look how long it took me to finish Nasty Wars 3 ex and 3 Extreme Legends. It took me an entire year to finish the Let's Play. An entire year, guys. That's the proof. The Muso games were in fact like the the, the, the replayability of Muso games was I I infinite basically. Probably one of the modern Muso games uh, with lots of play replayability is probably Water Sorochi 3 Ultimate. I do like Water Sorochi 3 Ultimate a lot. It got lots of good stuff, but it suffers from, from difficulty issues that I keep mentioning that it's way too easy. It becomes way too easy, uh, Water Sorochi 3 Ultimate. You can actually break your character very, very easily in that game. It's, it's not something hard to, to break your character, honestly. So. Oh, this far, this fireball captain here. Oh, great. Uh, God damn it. Ah, that's not good. It's probably one of the most annoying objective. That's one of the far of the fireball captains. I do remember it. They're like in lots of directions. They come from every everywhere, really. So yeah, it is a bit annoying. Let me hold on. I want to do this. I'm afraid to. Dimension complete. Come on. Hi. Okay, thank you. Let's try. Reach that. Before. No, no, no. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yes, I can do it. Okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. The horse attack from Groves are absolutely useless. It's like they don't exist. I think it was a bad idea, personally, to want to make certain weapons good for horse and certain not, or certain weapons good for a for a horse and certain not good for the ground. Well, the only spear that's good uh, on horse and not good on the ground is probably the spear, uh, which is absolutely re retarded, really. The spear is such an entertaining weapon, yet they decided to to make it boring. Kind of, kind of lame, to be honest. I really don't like what it done with the spear, definitely. Mm. But yeah, we do need extreme mode back, definitely. Extreme mode, destiny mode, uh, we need those back. It's just probably a good way to revive the, uh, the whole school of Muso. And revive the old difficulty as well. I don't know really. I feel like they're quite scared or something to uh, remake the the old difficulty. I, I feel like they're scared or something. So I really don't know what to think. <laughs> I really don't know. It kind of sucks, personally. Because I've been like a, a really huge fan of uh, Muso games since I was five years old. And seeing them declining is not exactly one, 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 one of the things I want to see. L like really, everything is in the good place, personally. But the difficulties were really ruined the game, in my opinion. They really need to do something about it. Like, really. I don't know why they don't do anything for the difficulty. I feel like uh, lots of new people that, that are introduced to Muso, like, late, in a, uh, very late nowadays, they don't seem to like appreciate our games anymore. People with time, they they started to get annoyed at games more, more easily. We are also living in a period where mental he mental health is very common. It's a very common issue, especially on the internet. So I do I, I'm starting to figure out what's the problem here. Uh, you know, a lot of people get bullied on the internet. They they do get harassed a lot for. Uh, 
uh, you know, for because just because somebody's not good at a certain game, uh, that person gets gets harassed a lot. He gets called names. He gets insulted. He gets death threats. Uh, that's a very huge problem we have here. And everything he just needs to stop. Of course, I, I really uh, don't agree. Uh, I don't agree when when somebody uh, literally harasses and does that that threats to to people. Really, it's, it's just uh, not right. Uh, let's lead that guy first. So yeah, it's not good. Uh, so people obviously they get discouraged uh, and they got discouraged to try out uh, other games. That, that's the problem, you know. They do get very very discouraged because they they get a rest of line, of course. In some cases, of course, they do, they do, they do get harassed online, uh, getting called names and stuff because they, they say they're not good at that game, at that game. So, oh, how dare you not being good at that kind of game? Uh, fuck you, piece of shit. So, and they get harassed automatically. It happens a lot with games like Dark Souls, honestly. When somebody says, uh, "I cannot play Dark Souls, it's too hard." That person will literally get harassed uh, constantly. It's like like if it's a crime that you cannot play Dark Souls. Well, I, I cannot play Dark. I, I can play Dark Souls. Yes, I do. I can play. It's one of is serious, but I am not one of those people who harass people for not uh, playing Dark for not playing Dark Souls or for uh, finding Dark Souls too hard. Uh, if somebody says to me Dark Souls is too hard. Uh, I'm just gonna say no. You're wrong. Dark Souls is not too hard. It's just that you need to get used to the game a little bit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that person. Fuck you. How dare you, piece of shit. This is the best game ever in the world. Because there are some people, obviously, never join the Dark Souls community. Any Soul game community, ne never, never look at that. Let me look at those because they, it's full of people anyway who take to be gods just because they completed Dark Souls uh, more than once, uh, or just because they play Dark a Soul game. Uh, all their life, they, they automatically think uh, that they're gods. I feel like those are the kind of people who cannot achieve anything in their life, and uh, they, th they 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 find an art game, well, a game that's that's apparently praised to be hard, and they, they automatically think they're gods. So when when somebody finds some something that it's good at, it will start to brag because before he never had anything that he was good at. This person. So what what happens was when this person finds something that is good at, uh, at a soul game, it'll start to brag, it'll start to offend people who who he thinks that they are uh, beneath, uh, beneath him. It, it'll literally start to act like a dickhead. And I see so many people, uh, so many Dark Souls players acting like that, and it's absolutely disgusting, can I just say that? Can I just say, it's, it's very vile, the way they behave, uh, uh, those Dark Souls players, those fanatics of Dark Souls. Thank God I've not been in any Dark Souls community, but if I do, oof, it's gonna literally, it, it's gonna be hell, like, it's gonna even destroy me mentally, because I cannot stand that crap, really. I just can't, so I suggest you guys not to be in any Dark Souls or Soul Game community in general. Any Soul Game community in general, just ditch it. Even Niho. It's full of, of people that they think they be god just because they found a game and they can be good at, but in real life they cannot do anything achievable. So... And uh, I am the one who completed Niho too, on everything. I completed the deep of the Underworld on my own. I'm not here to brag, but I let you completely the deep of the underworld on my own, uh, with a spear. And yeah, I'm not saying to brag, I'm just saying to prove a fact that uh, I'm not here to, to insult you if, you if you're not good at the game or anything. Because usually if somebody, if it wasn't another person who completed the deep of the underworld on, on, on their own, uh, they would have started to brag, uh, attack people, say, oh look what I've done, completely the deep of the underworld on my own and you suck. Uh, uh, other people will, will have done this, but I don't do that. Because it, it's wrong. Let's 
さあ共に参ろう How the fuck did I miss that objective here? Hmm. Oh well. Ah, nice, and even got an S. Very good. So we got almost all the objectives and managed to finish um, the ma the the battle against Matsunaga on Mitsuru's path. <laughs> ジュベ。お前は俺の懐が頼む。一体何用俺はその根源を。すっかり変わっちまったってな。やっぱり根っこは変わってないな。俺の信じた三月でのままだ。ま、唐突に何よ。本当はこれを確かめたくて呼び出したんだ。ごめんな、変な真似して。待ってくれ。俺はもう昔の俺ではない。天界神のため、
毛利に当たらせたしかし雨マ勢の夜神月城は毛利の猛攻にさらされ落城の危機に瀕していたこの危機を救うべく信長は秀吉や光秀らを派遣主君を救おうと勇む鹿之助と共に二人は神月城へ駆ける宝月城の戦いよーし鹿之助ついに神月城での一戦だ準備はいいか<笑>もちろんだ信長様に言われた時からずっと準備は重ねてきたこの一戦に雨マの未来がかかってるんだ俺が頑張らないとなおおその息よ信長様は播磨にかかりきりだがその分おいらや光秀がついてるからなここを乗り切って西に半島を広げてやろうぜ一っやるぞ鹿之助強くなって大切なもの全部この手で守るあの日の誓い今こそ果たす時だ俺は毛利を残らず駆逐して雨マを再興する追いつくからな光秀Yeah, I do feel this battle will be quite sad. Oh, wait, we're playing as Mitsuhide. Okay.、Uh, let's try this out, okay, shall we? I, I don't know, maybe I should actually. No, I think I already did it before. Nah, 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 nah. Thank you. Oh, I, I cannot play as Shikansuke. Oh, that, that kind of hurts to see that I'm not able to play as him. Well, I already played as Mitsuhide and、uh, Mitsuki before, so I will probably go with one of my favorites. I absolutely love this guy, yes. I know I keep saying this many times, but really, he's one of my favorite now. Katsuchi Nakamura. I like how he's loyal to Hideyoshi, really. But for some reason, I noticed that Koei makes、uh, the character serve Hideyoshi extremely loyal to him for some reason.、Uh, that's what I like about it, and to me, that's, enough,、uh, that's pretty much enough for me to, you know, like a character. I, I just. Uh, like loyal characters in the end, so yeah. And Katsushi Nakamura ended up being a very loyal one. Oh, damn it. Where's she gonna go? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, time limit as well. No good. Is this battle. This is the battle of、uh, Mino. What the fuck? I don't know. Okay, I was trying to, you know, look up what, if they cloned the stage too, and yes, that is the battle of Mino. What's with them cloning stages? God damn it! Oh my god, stop it! Don't make me drop the vote! Really? I already passed from 8 to 7. I don't really want to pass to, you know, 7 to of 6. Like, really, don't make me do that, Koei. Please, please don't.、Uh, what the fuck? So many cloned stages. God damn it, what is this? There's a lot of cloned stages in this game. Way too many, way too many. I don't, I don't, I don't really approve. At all, really. It's just. It's kind of sad, really, if you think about it. All these clone stages are absolutely awful. I don't know why they were thinking. I know they, they did this probably during COVID, and uh, uh, there were few, only a few people in the office to program the game, so. I understand that, but seriously. Uh, there's still a f、uh, to me, this is still not an, ex an excuse, honestly. I really don't care about the circumstances. I have to judge the game for what it is, and、uh, for what I see, it's like, it's literally, there's a lot of clones. Clone stages, clone weapons, but like, what else, man? What else is cloned? Oof. 
It's quite bad. Well, it's in trouble. I, I'm really not happy about it, like really. I mean, I don't mind the clone stages, maybe, but at least they make the character like more unique, you know? Because the characters are not many. Okay, these stages are a lot of stages. In the end, there's a lot of stages in, in this game. Uh, having clone stages, that's fine, but there's no many characters in this game. So having clone characters, how bad can that be, really? Every if if you make the characters more unique, really? Well, tell me about it. Tell me. I think he's a bit stupid, honestly. Yeah, I knew you will be an objective. There we go. Knew it was an objective, I knew it. Like, as soon as I saw that guy, I smelled the objective from a mile away. The only unique cart historically are uh, Mitsuhide, Hanzo, Sandayu. Well, all Mitsuhide, I mean. And Ambe. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there is other... Uh, uh, maybe Yoshimoto. Well, Yoshimoto, I can't consider him unique. I, I think Yoshimoto is actually unique as well because uh, he is the only person with a hammer. I know that's Yoshitatsu. Yoshitatsu, he got an hammer. However, it's an, it's an unplayable and it's an, just a, a unique NPC. Uh, it's just an NPC, theoretically. He got the NPC art, uh, Yoshitatsu. So, I don't really consider him to be a character, even to his playable. So, I do consider Yoshimoto a unique character, even to Yoshitatsu does have the hammer, but he's, he's an, an, an unique NPC, so that, that's, that's okay, you know. But, that's it, really. The, the rest are all clones. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Then go. Go, Mitsuhide. Nobunaga-sama-no. Nobunaga plans to abandon the Amago, I think. My god. I really feel bad for Shikansuke, honestly. He's been going through a lot. Like, really. Can't believe it. I I'm just feeling bad for Shikansuke at this, uh, 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 this moment. He's just going through so much, honestly. All for a dying clan. I, ca I can't fucking believe it. I just can't believe it. It's kind of it's kind of sad story, I must say. It is very, very, very sad. Honestly. Yeah, fuck the Amago. Like, really. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I mean, Shikansuke does really have a good card to deal, man, to be honest. Personally, I feel like Shikansuke is one of those cards that you can easily like. I don't know, really, how can you find Shikansuke annoying, but... I bet some people do find him annoying, because some people don't take much of him, but I personally I, I, I like him a lot. I'm not a fan of his moves, though, I must say. It feels limited. Mm. Most of his uh, moves are basically the same, you know. Yeah, he does have uh, access to loads of combos, but it, your charge attacks is still the same, so I'm not a fan of that, personally. Where's the drum? Because I'm not fighting the um, Kikawa without the, uh, the Finn the drum. Uh, if not, I'm not choice but to use the horse. Gotta use the horse because, uh, yeah, no choice but to do this. Sorry, but. No choice. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, 
I wonder when we get to play as the Mori. Maybe soon, maybe, maybe soon. After we finish the Amago story. Because this this will be the last uh, stage. Oh, nice. I knew it was objective. <laughs> yeah, I always smell objectives from miles. I can see there's somebody there. But... Uh, there's no way you can get there, apparently. All the, all the places are closed, so... I don't know if you can even get there. Should I go to the escape point? Okay, let's go to the escape point. Might as well. Can I do No, I think now it's charging Amago. I don't know. Amago is still stuck. So what's the condition? Hmm... Like Wait, that's she can't escape. Okay, he needs to to reach the escape point as well. Move, move away from him. We said we reached the escape point, which I already did, but okay. Like okay. Oh, he even cuts you. Okay, so all of us. All right, that's good. Let's do it. I thought only one character will be enough to reach the escape point, but apparently he wants both for some reason. Oh my gosh, Shikans is, is staying behind. No way. No, no. Shikanosuke。やはりな。もう that hurts. Okay, that, that fucking hurts. なんとか撤退はなったようだな。さて、じゃあおいらたちはダメだ。やっぱり俺は戻る。鹿之助を仲間を見捨てられねえ。待て、ミツキ。あるし。悪いが今三月を連れ戻すだけの猶予はね。おいらたちは傷川口へ向かうぞ。じゃあまたな、三秀。信長を察し致します。なれど、今は。案ずるな。三木城へ向かうぞ。信長を待たせるわけにはいかない。ほ、ほ、承知。この刃は天界神が溜め降るのみ。まどってなどいられない。Ah, of course I missed an objective. Oh wow, there's only eight objectives in this stage. Jesus, missed one, but oh well. So. I've not seen what happened to Shikanosuke. Mm. I still have hope then for him. Okay, we still got hope for Shikanosuke. Should I still have hope for the for the deer guy? I wonder. All right, fellow warriors, and I guess this is everything for now. And I'll catch you guys soon to the next episode. As always, like, subscribe, comment, maybe consider becoming a member of my channel. Coffee time if you want to get access to video previews. And I'm also a member and also a member if you want to get access to exclusive Let's Play. But keep in mind, I'm also, the also member is just like uh, Musou. You still get access to uh, the same perks. It's just for people who want to support the channel even further. Thanks again, fellow warriors, for all your support. And I hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play. And keep following uh, more episodes. Thanks again. Don't miss the next episode. Activate the bell to receive a notification. And check you guys soon to the next episode. Also, subscribe to my girlfriend, Peter Obsessive. And take care. Bye-bye.